This is Pharaoh's Visor of dsdatabase.org, and today we're going to take a quick look at the iSmart Premium. Now, you'll see that this is the first menu that we boot up into, and let's see over here. And this menu is a little broader than the games menu, where you have the choice of NDS games, GBA through the 3M1, uh, Moonshell, booting a slot 2 device, and system settings. In system settings, you get very few choices unless you have a an Easy Flash 3M1, and even then, there's not a whole lot of choice. If you boot the GBA or the NDS, it essentially boots into the same menu. It is simply the files that it lists, one list.gba files and the other .nds. So we're going to take a look at the DS side. On the top screen, you'll see the list of games here. And the system scrolls through games pretty fast and it's pretty slick. The games are booted relatively fast. This one is creating a save file, hence the extra time it took. But you can see that everything works. Now, on the main DSi menu, the iSmart Premium uses the TAC, the Great Juju Challenge, which shows that it has similar hardware to the Easy Flash 5i. If we boot the same game again, as you can see it saves your last spot. The speed is quite a bit faster. Unfortunately, I would love to show you guys how the special features are. However, this iSmart Premium is not exactly stable at the moment. In the in-game preferences, oops, there we go. Um, there's soft reset, real-time save, game guide, cheat, download, play. I'm gonna try, hopefully, to show you guys how the real-time save works. Essentially, everything works the same. Soft reset will reset on a button combo, and that works fairly well, while real-time save and game guide has given me quite a few errors and freezes. Yeah, oh, I don't think I saved there. And let's boot this game up again. And there we are. That was not supposed to happen. In any case, you can see that the real time save is currently soft resetting instead. Now, I've written in my review that the iSmart Premium is based on the Easy Flash 5i 3.0 line firmware. It is a beta firmware, hence the bugs and fixes and so on, so its instability isn't exactly a long-term thing. At least I hope it isn't which gives my conclusion in the written review that this cart is potentially a very good cart as I loved the Easy Flash 5i. However, at the moment it's not stable enough for me to recommend it to anyone really. Of course, um, showing remnants of other parts of the Easy Flash 5i, you see that it has very similar buttons so you can move up and down. We've already seen the settings menu, but since on the Easy Flash 5, they normally use this menu and this menu alone. There's a doubling up, the same settings menu is shown here. 
there's backlight, but it doesn't work on the DSi, and this would start up Moonshell. However, the iSmart Premium does have one advantage over the Easy Flash 5i. This advantage comes from the fact that the team has already released its SDK, and it's possible that developers may jump on it and use the and make their own firmware. For example, one that is already in development is Fish Shell. This is a very similar to Moon Shell, and normally this should boot up by default. However, I chose to I chose this way so that I can demo the video properly. Now, if you are familiar with Moonshell 2, you'll know that this menu is pretty similar to M3 Sakura. And it seems my touch screen is sort of wonky. It's not the cart. I think it's just that I'm not pressing it properly. In any case, we have the usual slide across for these settings. Hmm. Oh, I booted it instead. Um, it's still in development, so <clears throat> there are significant bugs, and the features aren't all there. However, it seems to me that they are rather close to getting the features in. So let's boot this up again and hope it works. Uh, let's see. Oops. I guess I'll try the slide thing again. There. You can see that there's a list of features and you can enable and so on. However, I realize that there's a big warning on the README saying that I shouldn't use these just yet as they aren't actually activated. Um, and Yes, if you are a fan of M3 Sakura, I can see the speed being fairly similar, and this would also act as your moon shell, so you can play the sounds and DPG files. In conclusion, I think the iSmart Premium is a decent enough flash card. I was a fan of the Easy Flash 5i, however the iSmart is obviously not as stable and doesn't have the team with a long track record. However, it does have it it does have the released SDK and there is fish shell in development and its potential can be very, very big. So I would keep an eye out for this cart, however, I wouldn't purchase it right away. So feel free to email me or contact me through my website if you have any questions at all. Thank you for watching.